I saw this interview on, on YouTube. I have a different method. <clears throat> well, I don't. I don't need a gamma functions and so on. So, okay, now I'm using a substitution. Let uh, say u be the square root log one of x. <clears throat> Then uh, u square is uh, log of 1 of x, which is equal to negative log x. Okay, then uh, obviously that x is equal to e to the negative u square. Okay, now my integral becomes, uh, uh, this is u, right, uh, d dx is dut negative square. <clears throat> when x is zero, then it is uh, infinity. When uh, x is one, then u is of zero. <clears throat> <clears throat> now here, I can use the by, by parts u dv, right? So this one is equal to uh, now first let me exchange the boundary um, from 0 to infinity. It looks better <coughs> from 0 to infinity. Then I have a negative sign, right? And the u d e to the negative u square. Then uh, by parts, this is uh, uv, u times v, this is v, right? Negative u square minus the integral from 0 to infinity, v du, okay, this is negative u square du. <coughs> and uh, this is uh, from zero to infinity. Uh, for, forget. <laughs> now, when you use infinity, that's a zero, right? You can use Lapidus rule. Easily find the limit equals zero, and a z u equals zero is zero. Become plus right? integral e to the negative u square. Yeah. Now this is a well-known uh, Gauss integral, right? This is a good of half squared pi. Okay. Very, very simple, very easy. We just need uh, the Gauss integral. Thank you for your watching.